I could not see what they saw I could not know what they knew What everyone around me knew I wish I had believed Everything happened so fast Just like too good to be true I wish each moment would last for life I wish I had believed I wish that I believed the one The one who loved me I wish that I could turn back the hand of time And save me from the pain and agony Oh, I really wish, but it's too late I was too blind to see I was too blind to see that you never loved me Oh, but it's too late I was too blind to see I was too blind to see that you never loved me From the very start They questioned my love for you They wondered how I could not see Through your looks and charms Your words, love and care for me You had a hold on me I wish it moment will last for life Good day everyone Good day. Good day. Barrister, you are welcome. Please have your seat. Thank you. That we wish that this didn't have to be this soon. Oh, yes. You must be Uncle Briggs, sir. Oh, yes. You are absolutely right. You are correct. Okay. And that's my sister, Boma Braid. You're welcome. And Thank the you. gentleman seated over there with his wife is my late brother's driver of many years, Mr. Adekule. But we all got to know him and call him Baba Shegu. So, as I said to you... I know what you said. And I would have loved it that way as well. But the express wishes of the deceased as documented, must be carried out. Well then, let us get it over and done with. All right, sir. Now, this is the will and testament of Chief Alfred Tonya Wilson. As you can all see, this is the very first time the seal will be broken open. With due respect. You see, my late brother intimated all of us, except of course Baba Shegun, of how he wanted us to handle his estate when he is gone. There is no need for you to go through all this elaborate formal process. Just do the needful. I assure you, sir, but this will take but a moment, sir. Roshego, please sit down and be calm. I, I don't see why you should be this worried. Mommy and mommy are going to be fine. You don't understand. I'm not worried about mommy or Bami. It's Genevieve I'm worried about. Things are not going to be the same again. <laughs> what will be, will be. Our worries won't change them. Well, I, I guess so. And as for Baba Shebu and his wife, I will forever remain indebted to them 
for their uncommon loyalty, especially since I lost my wife over 15 years ago in that air crash. They have stood by me and have helped me raise my only daughter, Genevieve, into the fine young woman that she is turning out to be. As a token of my appreciation to them, I bequeath the sum of 3 million naira to them. I wish to appeal to them to continue to be loyal to my daughter Genevieve as they were loyal to me until she is safely in the hands of a good husband. Apart from the lump sum of money bequeathed to the three sets of people mentioned in this document, who hopefully will be present listening to this reading, all my remaining life possessions, cash and asset, I hereby bequeath to my only daughter, Genevieve Tonya Wilson. I, Chief Alfred Tonya Wilson, being of a sound mind and under no form of duress whatsoever, do depose as aforestated. Signed, sealed, published, and declared by Chief Alfred Tonya Wilson, the testator, as his last will and testament in the presence of us, who at this request, in his presence and in the presence of each other, have hereunto subscribed our names as witnesses. Oshoke. John, residing at number 13 on Malara Street, Sue Mary, Lagos. Alara Josiah, residing at number 57, Momo Crescent, Ikoi, Lagos. Chukuma Ijeoma, residing at 38, Inua Masanin Street. Otoro Kano, ladies and gentlemen, this is the will as deposed to by Chief Alfred Tonya Wilson. Thank you very much, Barrister Oshoke. Please go right ahead and execute as stated. My brother and I have absolutely nothing against it, right? Yes, absolutely, Mboma. I have to take my leave then. Miss Genevieve, come by the office at your earliest convenience, take possession and complete every other formality, all right? I will. Thank you. All right, once again, my condolences. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. That is done. So, my dear Genevieve, now, do you feel you are up to all this? This is a super story, a life of strife and sorrow. It's a super story of good food and houses Where the fish drowns or even die of thirst It's a super story, a life of precious stones and good taste It's a super story this is Super Story. Welcome, sir. Eh, uh, madam. Welcome, ma. Thank you. Eh, Oga. What do you go get for this your new baby? If Nakaro, the yellow Lagos girl, that one of Fedra in the shop. If not the black Calabar girl, that one I think I could in the shop. Papa, you are in trouble today. Not today, the Stay out of course. Stay out of course. I'm not. Ah, Vendor. Mm. <laughs> My bros. Yes. Come on. So, what's in the news today? Ah, news book for people. Good morning, my bros. Uh, good morning, Vendor. So, which one is actually value for money? Ah, ah. Why you they talk like this? Eh? How you want them? Share not this one. See? I've been at this one. 
I've been at this one. I've been at this wait, one. Wait. What? Let me see this one. Eh. Yeah. I'll take this one. Ah! Oh! That girl, eh? She did lock you. Eh? I can't be imagine make I can't be son of Bilonia. Make the man come pay me. Can't leave the whole billion for only me. Oh boy! Come see Groovy! Ah! All night long! Good day, Nando. All night long! Good day. <laughs> Anything for weekend. Have the honor of doing this, please. Hmm. Hmm. Why not? Good morning, madam. Check. What's that now? I mean, where did the madam stuff spring from? Um, you know, you're now the all in all of tons of real investments, the chairperson. That same very position that your father occupied. I must accord that office with due respect to the Zabs. I can't take it for granted. Forget all of that, please. To you, Shegun, I'll always be Jenny, your friend from childhood. I know, uh, but. No buts, please. Now, why did you want to see me? Oh, all right. I wanted to go over your late father's plans for the house and the household staff. Um, I wanted to see if they agree with your vision of how this household should be run. Of course they do. Everything my late father discussed with you concerning the running and changes to be made are things we had agreed on. You know that. Yeah, I do, but uh, I'd rather err on the side of caution. <laughs> You, the Shegun. You're being so formal with me these days. Abby, what is wrong with you now? Sweet, um... Francis? Pack the car properly and bring the keys straight to my office, all right?
But what do you think you worry this Francis boy safe? Salami. Pack the car when they make you pack. Go give him a key. Ah, this one with the talk, I don't know. But Chidi, you know how too much now? Ah. <laughs> Salami, make I ask you one question. If now you uncle, you won't marry the owner of this whole place. You know go work out on top the air. If not to work out on top the high tension, so you go work out on top of So this girl go come marry this man. That one no go good though. You no go good at all though. Salami, I beg go pack the car with them say make you pack. And stop to the drink paracetamol on top another person's headache. Ah, you almost have too much. Ah! I know. Go ahead. Answer me. You mean I have been hanging out a lot with Francis this past few weeks, right? Well, yes. It's true, isn't it? Anyway, one of the major reasons why people change is because of the people they've been spending their time with. Is Francis that bad? You don't approve much of him, do you? You don't want to know my gut feelings about him. No. You don't. You know what? When I come back from work, we'll trash this, yeah? That is, if he doesn't steal you away again this evening. We'll have to see about that, won't we? Baba. Please let's go. Don't mind this mysterious shag. <laughs> you know, when it comes to the two of you, I have learned to mind my own business. Don't be like that. These are people who mean the words to me. <sighs> what do you think about the man I am going to be married to? Okay, if push comes to shove and you have to choose between how you feel and what they think, which would you go for? I hope it doesn't have to come to that. My friend, face the truth because it will eventually come to that. Why would you say that? That is not a nice thing to wish one, you know. Jenny, I don't see those people changing their minds about Francis soon. The same way I don't see you changing how you feel towards him. This guy makes your heart skip a bit, girl. You can say that again. You see what I'm saying? Jenny, you would, no, must, eventually have to make a choice at the end of the day. And the sooner you make that choice, the better for you. At least it will wake that Shegun guy up from his daydreams. What do you mean by that? Oh, come on, Jenny. So you still do not realize that Shegun has hot pants for you? Mind your language, Tina, please. Okay, fine. Maybe not exactly like that. But the truth is, the guy is in love with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you don't believe me? Of course I don't believe you. This guy is more or less my brother. We grew up together for God's sake. You know what? I am through shopping. Uh, hey, Jenny.
Baba Shelly. Yes. Are you sure they've been in there for over an hour and they've gone somewhere else? You can go and look for them up there, sir. It's no use. The place is too big for that. Where would I start from? And then you have to endure the wait, sir. I'm picking up their phones. Oh, <laughs> there they are. Oh, okay. Hey. Cute, 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 cute. Hey, Tina. Are you? Oh my baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I was expecting to see you. <laughs> I've been waiting out here for over an hour. Sharp guy. He can't stay away from the love of his life even for a moment. But you get up. Oh, no, it's true though. Oh, it's true. <laughs> um, no. What? What is it? Tina, I was so carried away with our discussions that I actually forgot to pick up the dress I came here for. Oh, Jenny. I am going to get it. You guys, wait for me in the car. Okay. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You bet. I've missed you so much. Not half as much as I've missed you, baby. Is she taking me away tonight again? I don't know. Maybe you don't have to be available. Yes, you have to be. Baby, we must stick to plan. Oh, it's just that I'm burning up for you. I'm burning up for you, baby. I miss you so much. Madam Jenny said I should tell you that she's waiting for you in the car. Oh. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Have we blown it before it got started? Don't worry, I'll take care of it, okay? How? I said I'll take care of it. Now, listen. Let's go to the car. She's waiting for us. Listen, she's waiting for us, okay? And we don't want to give him enough time to spill everything. Comport yourself and let's go. This is super story, a life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story of good food and houses. Where the fish try. Or even die of thirst It's a super story A life of precious stones And good taste It's a super story This is super story I swear I wouldn't have forgiven myself today If I had not gotten the stress you should say the dress on me, Francis Derry. Huh? You said? Come on, man. Where is your mind? I hope not thinking about another woman. Oh, come on, sweetheart. How can you say that? You belittle me. I'm sorry, it's just that I am so excited about you seeing me in this dress and you're not responding. I'm so sorry, I was just um, thinking about getting the driver to go bring my car. It's past closing on. So, are you wearing the dress tonight for our outing? I'm sorry, honey. There will be no outing tonight. I scheduled a meeting to meet with um, Shegun in the house to trash out a lot of pain and stuff concerning the house and the household stuff. 
Maybe I should be at that meeting. <laughs> After all, when we get married, I'll be the one taking care of all that stuff. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be fine by myself. When the time comes to bring you into those matters, I'll bring you in. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. It's just that living you alone in the company of another man, it gives me the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Shagun is a brother. Tina, I hope you've not been feeding my Francis with all this rubbish. Ah, hey, please, look at my hands. So my hands are clean. <laughs> in my office right now. Let's not beat around the bush. We both know why I called you here. I won't pretend I don't know, sir. Great. Because I don't like people that pretend. So what do you think we should do about this situation? The situation, sir, has nothing to do with me. What you saw was not what it seemed. Sir, it's none of my business. Both of you are adults. Are you saying you're not going to tell Jenny? I have served this long in the household of Chief Tony A. Wilson. All because I have learned to strictly mind my own business. Was that meant to deceive me and lure me into having a false sense of security? Or what? Only the trustworthy are capable of trusting others, sir. Trusting you has been made difficult by the fact that your son also has eyes for a woman. And it would do your chances a whole world of good for my woman to learn off my little indiscretion, wouldn't it? Sir, if God has chosen you to be Genevieve's husband, nothing can stop it. Not even your little indiscretion. You know what? Yeah. I will trust you to keep your word, but... I will also watch you very closely. The moment you make any attempt to betray the spirit of this, our little conversation, you may not leave to tell the story. Good day. Hey! I know that is, sir. That was not a threat. By the way, people who know me know that I don't make threats. And I have never failed to keep a promise in my entire life. Ask around, old man. That one is going to need some very tight and close watching. Very tight. It's a super story of good food and houses. 
Where the fish drowns or even die of thirst It's a super story A life of precious stones and good taste It's a super story This is super story Um, you that you are going to sit for my son who is uh, going for law, how many art subjects do you expect to sit for someone studying law? Art subject for lawyer. Chief, now law subject now. Uh, chief. Yeah. Can I name him? Um, my own subject for somebody that want to do medicine. You may proceed. Somebody that want to do medicine. You know right? Interscience, mm. food and nutrition, mm. health science, health and physical education. Uh, Wait a second. Which school did you guys graduate from? Um, me. Now, University of Get a state. You need Dell. And you? Same school. Mm, it is yes. me too. You need Dell too. It's the same, the same school that yes. we now went that time. Hmm. Uni Dell. Mm. Hmm. I see. Both of you just wait for me. Let me get you your advance. In fact, I will give you full payments. What is the matter, Baba Shebu? You look a bit troubled. Where is Shebu? He's still in the meeting with Madame Jenny. Is that why you look worried? Maybe I should have declined the offer to remain as uh, Genevieve personal driver. Eh? What is it? Did you have any problem with her already? Oh, oh no, you know that cannot happen. Uh, she's like a daughter to me, and she's a very good girl. Ah, that's better. It is that her uh, fiance, Francis. Uh -huh. I'm I caught him red-handed today, kissing and cuddling Tina, uh, Jenny's uh, best friend. Ah! Oh, he hear me, oh! Mommy, uh, Bami, what is it? Did anybody die or something? Uh, uh, Kemi, uh, uh, uh. nobody die, yo. Uh, uh, but Mommy, you're acting kind of strange. It is scary. Oh, is, is Bami in trouble? Oh, 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 not at all, not at all. Kemi, you can go back to your TV. Uh, it's got nothing to do with you and even us. It's just something I saw today. Is that? Yes, yes, Kemi. Go ahead. Go ahead, my dear. Go. Masheko, I have always knew that that man is a wild animal. What are we going to do? We cannot allow Jenny to marry that man, no. And we cannot tell Jenny, Mama said. What? We can't. Stop staring at me like that. Like how? Like the way you are doing. Do you know what you are doing? Maybe I should stare for all I want now. Why? After your marriage, I won't be able to stare at you like this anymore. Your husband. 
if it is Francis, he would certainly not stand for it. What do you mean by if it's Francis? Who else would it be? And by the way, which husband would stand for it? I don't know. But if it is Francis, he certainly would throw a fit of jealous rage. You know something, Shogun? What? I am not comfortable with your relationship with Francis. You have to smoothen it out. It's given me a lot of heartache that you two don't get along. Really? Yeah. I don't know what to say concerning this. You think he's not good for me? Honestly, yes. I know he is not good for you. He is lean and smooth. And I have no proof. Maybe you have no proof because no proof exists. Maybe you're just trying to be overprotective of your little sister. Maybe. But I am not little anymore, Shegu. You said so yourself. I am now the child person of tons of real investment. I've been for a while now. Even if I say so myself, I have not done a bad job of it so far. Come on, I've even managed to improve on our fortunes marginally. Honestly, in that regard, you have done me so proud. Then feel proud about my decision to marry Francis. I need you to, if I mean anything to you. Don't wanna leave one moment. I don't wanna breathe one more you beside you in my life. You're the one that I see, the only one that makes me happy. You're the one, the only one in my life. You can tell when I'm so afraid. You can tell when I'm down and out. You can tell all. I want you more and more. I will Gave you his word. <laughs> That's it. What do you mean? That's it. Come on, Francis. I told you I'm hundred percent sure that this man's son is in love with Genevieve. Just imagine what will happen when he tells his son about this. Do you think he will not rush to her with it? Relax. I have everything under control. Just by one lame threat. <sighs> If you have ever been, if you have ever been at the end of any of my thoughts, that you will never call it name. This is let go, you're hurting me! Oh, 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 please! 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 Don't ever let me do this again. Please. I'm so I'm sorry. Sorry. I was just worried for us. I know. Please, my love. Think about it deeply. Do you think he would tell Shegun at least? I made it very clear to him that if he tells on us, he would not leave to tell the story. And if he's as wise as I think he is, he would realize that telling Shebon is as good as telling Jenny. And I'm sure he does not relish the prospect of dying. 
so soon. And would you really go that far? Wouldn't you? We can't do that, Mama Shegun. That man was not making idle threats, Mama Shegun. I saw it in his eyes. But if we allow this to happen, our conscience will not give us a moment rest. Shiftonye trusted us with Jenny's life. Perhaps we tell Shekun. Ah, Mama Shekun, no, no, no. Ah, you know that will be as good as telling Genevieve herself. And you know how Shegun feels about her. Look, Mama Shegun, Shegun will just use that as an opportunity to expose him and get Genevieve for himself. And where will that lead us? Me. There must be something we can do. We can't betray Shiv Tonye like this. His ghost will haunt us to our graves. Eh? Hmm. Mama Shegu, let us go to sleep. Let us sleep over it. I am sure things have a way of getting a little bit clearer after a night or two. Ah. Let it be clear. Oh. It will. It will. Let us go to sleep. This is a super story. A life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story. With good food and houses Where the fish drowns Or even die of thirst It's a super story A life of precious stones And good taste It's a super story This is a super story I think this is important I must manage you. Draw up a check and have it on my table before the close of business. Yes, ma'am. Will that be all? Yes, ma'am. Ensure that you monitor the process very closely. We don't want to be shortchanged now, do we? I assure you, ma'am. That wouldn't be. Great. Get on it then. Good day. Miss Agedi. Please tell Francis to come right in. My love. My sweet. <laughs> come here. I've missed you so much, you know. So did I. To think we just saw each other yesterday. You see. That goes to show you how long overdue the marriage is. <laughs> and I have the most fabulous news for you this morning. Pregnant? Get away, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? I finally got Shagun to accept that you're the one I am going to spend the rest of my life with. And he actually accepted? To the extent that if you ask him nicely, he could actually be your best man. <laughs> wow! This is so great news! Baby, you know what this means? I mean, there are no more hindrances to the wedding ceremony. It could actually take place tomorrow, if you want. Baby, from the day I was born, I was born ready for you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How soon do you think we can do this? Anytime you pick, they'll be good. Are you kidding me? Of course not. <sighs> okay, um... How about we do this in a month's time? A month's time it is then. Wow! I'll set the machinery in motion right away. <laughs> oh, baby! You know what? 
This is the happiest day of my life, you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Prove it. Oh, you want me to prove it? Hmm? Come here. Believe you. You want to let all that go just like that. Mommy, what else can I do? That's what she wants. She only loves me like a brother. What she wants is not good for her. I have told her as much, but I have no proof. Mommy, see, I can't lie to her. And I can't cook up anything. Remember, you never raised me that way. So, you have told her. She can go ahead and marry the beast. She loves the beast, mommy. That is because she doesn't know he's a beast. Look, mommy. Eh? I have accepted my fate. Let's forget about it, please. Ah, Shedin. Forget what? Ah, no. We cannot allow her to marry that man. We can't do it, though. Ah, no. I don't understand this sudden change of attitude of yours. Ah, mommy. You have never been this forceful of not wanting her to marry Francis? I didn't know better. But now, I do. There's something you're not telling me. You must know something. What is it? Mommy. wanted to see <laughs> me why why not you are a very wise old man you see i told tina that but she didn't believe me but now i'm so happy that you were able to prove me right i i i don't think i i, I could then I... come down let me take you to the center of attraction you see i'm just coming from my sweetheart's office and then she told me that her brother from another mother that is your own son, Shebo, has finally decided to accept me as her Mr. Wright. Um, um, that, that, that is nice. Oh, even nicer, even nicer is the fact that because of this new development, we have decided to fix our wedding date for a month from now. Isn't that awesome? You have fixed what? Our wedding! Our wedding! And you see, all this is happening because you kept your mouth sealed about what you saw. And you were very wise not to tell your son. Keep it that way. <laughs> you see? We're friends already. <laughs> I like you, man. <laughs> I'm liking you more. <laughs> I love you, man. This is a super story, a life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story of good food and houses, where the fish drowns or even die of thirst. It's a super story. A life of precious stones and good taste It's a super story 
This is super story. This is super story. Baba Shadow. Hmm. What is the matter? You are not asleep. I can't, Mama Shebu. I can't allow this to happen. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to tell Genevieve. Because I can't stand this torture in my heart anymore. I'm going to tell her first thing in the morning. This early. Good morning, Maggie. Sorry, pardon my manners. Good morning, sir. Did you forget something here? Mm, I want to see Madame Jenny. Oh, Madame Jenny, she's not up yet, sir. You don't worry. Okay, sir. I'll wake her up. All right, sir. It is that important. Ah, who am I to stop you? Well, welcome, sir. Good morning. How are you? Jenny, it's me, Baba Shegun. Baba Shegun? Yes. This early. Hmm. Ah, please give me a minute. Okay. Shot. <laughs> Don't be. You see, yesterday was an awesome day. After we finalized the wedding date, we had to climax the celebration here. <laughs> it was beautiful. So, what was so important I couldn't wait? It is private. It is between Madame Jenny and me. Really? Yes, yes. So tell me, how come I'm having this gut feeling that you were about to betray our little pact? I can't answer that. But you can answer this. Why do I see the look of betrayal in your eyes. Betrayal? Yes. I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Because it's all in the eyes. I can see it in your eyes, old man. The look of betrayal. It's evident. This is not betrayal. It is the right thing to do. And not doing this will be betrayer. You know what? You just made a very big mistake, old man. Okay, I'll get it for you.
this stupid old man indeed wants to betray me. No, I won't allow it to happen. Jenny! Yeah, so what does he want? Uh, you mean Baba Shago? Yes? He just wanted to know exactly what time you're going out so he can, um, know. I think he has some personal stuff to take care of. Okay, let him go quickly take care of it. He should be available for 10 a.m. Uh, you know what? Um, why doesn't he take as much time as he wants? Um, I'll be your driver till it's through. Hmm, that's so sweet. Okay, then. Um, when he's through, he'll just bring my own car to me in the office. Perfect. Take care of it, please. Consider it done. If after I have told her and she still resolves to go ahead with the wedding, then at least I'll have the satisfaction that I tried my best. She won't be able to see you now. She'll see you later in the afternoon when you get to the office. See me in the office? Yes. But I drive her to the office. As you can see, things have changed. We have somewhere to go to together and then, you know, wedding rounds and some other things. She'll call you when she gets to the office later in the day. Okay. Okay. But I want you to know that I know that you are lying. You've just succeeded in delaying the inevitable. and meet up with me in less than 30 minutes. My fiance's house. Of course the mansion, you idiot. Less than 30 minutes. Ah, uh, Shelby, what happened? Something is going on here. It started since the night of the day before yesterday. Here? Yeah. And you don't know what it is? I was watching TV here, while both of them were on the dining table, and suddenly Mommy exclaimed. When I went to ask her what the problem was, she said nothing. That can't be nothing. They've been talking in low tones and whispers ever since. Not to mention being kind of moody and... Can't stop, especially on Bami's part. Bami's part? Could it be in any kind of trouble or something? I find that very hard to imagine. I've never known him to be in any. See, whatever it is, I'm sure before you know it, it will soon go away. I have concerns of my own too. Yeah, I know. There can be no doubt about it now. They have set the marriage date. She? She has said the marriage date. Whatever. Move on. Humble background has never been in anyone's favor in situations such as this. I think I'll have to resign my appointment and move out of this premises. Seeing her every day with him, all day, every day would be too much of a torture for me. Too much. I'll see you later. Where are you off to dress like this? Job hunting, of course. See, Kemi. To begin preparation for life. After here, it's now. Later. I 
I just knew he was lying. Don't let it affect you like this. He said she will send for room when they are through with their wedding movement. When you see her, you will tell her. He can only delay it a little. He can't stop it. Honestly, honestly, I wish I had not wasted time. I wish I had told her as soon as it happened. It's okay. You will tell her. Eh? Yes. Yes. Even if I have to do it in his presence, I swear I will. Uh -huh. I will. Lucky, how far now? I've almost finished. Good. Remember, he has to have started speeding before he realizes. That is what I have done, sir. Baba me. You don't have to be afraid now. You know now. This is not the first time now. No, oh, Wala. Well, I understand. Here. Yeah. For your troubles. Okay. Ensure that nobody knows that you have been here. Okay, sir. You understand? Okay, sir. Good, 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 good. Here, yeah, yeah. hurry up. Take a real close look at me. Tell yourself the truth of what you see. But you can tell yourself there's nothing wrong. Wrong with the feeling that you have I don't care what you think of me I don't care what you feel for me All I want is all that you have And I'm taking it all from you You don't know me, but you love me You don't know me, but you trust me And I'm using you I'm very sure that we shall be very pleased to partner with you in the acquisition of the oil block. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, sir. No, it's okay. Bye, sir. I thought you agreed with Baba Shea going to be here by 10. Yes, that's exactly what I told him. This is way past 11. Let me call him. I have to be at that appointment for one and a dot. Uh, baby. Let me call him. Okay. Just continue with what you're doing. Hmm? Hello? It's me, Francis. Why are you not in here? You're supposed to take your madam for a meeting by 1 p.m. and it's way past 11. Huh? What are you talking about? You said you will call me after your wedding, whatever. Now you are accusing me of not having reported to the office. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Talk to your madam. Baba Shegun. Yeah? Why are you doing this to me? You took excuse to be here by 10. And this is way past 11. Me? Excuse? When? Hey, 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 hey. Wait, there is so much deception going on that you need to know about. There is no time for that now. Just come to the office as fast as you can. And we will discuss every other thing on our way to the meeting. Take Francis' car. He'll tell you where the keys are. Hello? The car is not locked. The keys are in the ignition. Get here fast, otherwise you'll be late for this very important business meeting and that will not be good. <laughs> Imagine the, the, this bastard trying to set me up against Jenny. Oh, that would be the last thing you would do. Believe me. 
Baba Shegun. Who was that? It is that idiot, Francis. He is trying to set me up against Jenny. Oh. I can't wait to get to that office. Ah, please, Baba Shegun. Take it easy. Okay, okay. Take it easy, please. Okay, Joe. okay. Waiting is killing me. Supposing he makes it. Quit worrying, will you? <sighs> Francis, you should have gone for insurance means. Those other means attract too much investigation. Accidents are hardly investigated in this part of the world. He's an experienced driver. He could survive it.